Now this, the Labor Department says the U.S. added 58,000 construction jobs and 28,000 manufacturing jobs. That's the fastest growth rate in 15 years. Economists say it's likely in anticipation of new Trump infrastructure spending on things like roads and bridges, plus building energy assets like the Keystone Pipeline and the Dakota Pipeline. Joining me now, let's bring in on the phone, blue collar economist, he is Joe the Plumber, Joe Wurzelbacher. Joe, what do you say to Democrats in the media that are now undercutting President Trump's uh, role in the jobs numbers boost? Well, you know, um, I like to say I told you so, nana nana, but no, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, um, you know, Democrats have to fight this. Nancy Pelosi has to, uh, you know, like she sat down uh, when it came to uh, his state of address, or state of uh, Congress, uh, the state of the Congress address, uh, excuse me. Right. Because, um, you know, quite frankly, you know, having uh, lower taxes, when we're talking about Trump's plan, lowering taxes, getting rid of uh, uh, regulations that are, are killing jobs, and creating a pro-business atmosphere, that kills the Democratic Party control over the American people. Um, you know, you just played that uh, video with Barack Obama saying, how, do, how is he going to do that? Well, and that, you know, that, that right there is Barack Obama's legacy. Yeah. How does someone do that? Well, Donald Trump does it by creating a friendly business or an atmosphere that's going to be friendly to business. And quite frankly, my wife and I are a perfect example of this. You know, we're starting a new business right now. I'm, I'm not going to pimp it on your site right now, but we're, we're going to be selling all American-made products. And that's what is really driving Donald Trump and what's driving the job market. Yeah. Is people are hopeful, they're excited, and they can't wait to get in because they know that Donald Trump is a businessman and he's going to do things that are going to uh, encourage job growth. So uh, we're pretty excited. All right, Joe the Plumber, missing an AWOL in the analysis from, the, and we've been through it, the New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, Time Magazine, the Washington Post, from the Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Charles Schumer when they are undercutting the president saying he didn't lift a finger to create jobs, is this number, three trillion in equity value added to the market since the president won in November. That three trillion in capital raised by the U.S. Uh, companies, they can use that to create jobs here in the United States. It's a lot of money flowing into U.S. companies. But remember, just a month into his term, Nancy Pelosi said the president had not accomplished anything and there's a video of Nancy, not, Nancy Pelosi not applauding U.S. job creation when the president addressed Congress. Do you think she should be applauding now? Well, absolutely. Uh, but it goes back to kind of what Barack Obama did uh, or, you know, eight years ago when they were talking about Republican conservatives not wanting Barack Obama to succeed. And, and quite frankly, they were absolutely right. I did not want this to succeed because he wanted to remake America in his vision. Uh, Donald Trump is making America great within the confines of the Constitution, and there's a huge difference. So, yeah, and Nancy Pelosi should be encouraging it, should be excited, because people in her district are going to be having more jobs, more work, uh, but ultimately it comes back to control. You know, the Democrats like that controlling factor. They like to keep yeah. people on the pit of society, and, uh, and Donald Trump is, you know, the best thing to give a man or a woman is a job, and yeah. that's what... Trump's about. Now, Joe the plumber, Rosenbacher, you know, there is a sea change in confidence happening with this president. Let's take a listen to Democrats like President Obama and Senator Elizabeth Warren taking credit away from the people and especially American business people. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. The internet didn't get invented on its own. Government research created the Internet, so then all the companies could make money off the Internet. I hear all this, you know, well, this is class warfare, this is whatever. No. There is nobody in this country who got rich on his own. Nobody. You built a factory out there, good for you. But I want to be clear, you moved your goods to market on the roads the rest of us paid for. Joe, what's your reaction to sound bites like that? Oh, it, it makes me cringe because th those are the kind of people that have actually never maxed out their credit cards, borrowed money from their buddies and their friends, and worked 20 hours a day, uh, not taking uh, any kind of pay to build a company to make sure that their employees are going to be paid on time. You know, the stress of, of having your own company and building it, uh, those people obviously have no idea and they have no business whatsoever in government because they don't understand how to create an atmosphere that helps businesses thrive. Do you so those People just, oh, they just, oh, man, I, I can't cringe enough when I hear that kind do of you talk. Think, do you think Elizabeth Warren and, and uh, President Barack Obama and any Democrat, once they leave office, they should try to start, do you think that they should try to start a business under the rules and taxes that they create? 
Well, ultimately, that's how it was supposed to happen. You're supposed to go in and serve as president or congressman, and then you live underneath those very same rules that you helped pass. Um, and you know that's the problem with a lot of these people. But I'm just that are, saying are, that they should try to they should try to do what you've tried to do under the regulations that they write and create, right? Well, absolutely, but it's, it's going to be too much work for people yeah. like that. All right, Joe the Plumber, Wurzelbacher, please come back soon. We love having you on.